This video, I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing bow and also the arrow I used to go with it. And the running question of this, what is the return of the king of this Cupid's trilogy? That is the question here we need to answer. Is it the bow? Is it the arrow? It's not the arrow because that is the same video as this. Is it the corset or is it the wings? What is the return of the king of this trilogy? We shall find out. Dun, 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 dun. Remember, if you wanna see amazing creations that you can make yourself, no matter if you're a beginner, expert, intermediate, because I am a beginner, <laughs> you should definitely like, comment, and subscribe. After this, definitely go and check out the rest of the trilogy, and let's get into the video. Before that, really quick, all of the supplies are in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to make this and when you're wanting to figure out where to get the supplies for this, just click the link below. And also to, I don't, I don't post on YouTube regularly, but to always see my costumes being made in real time, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or Pinterest. Links are also in the description. So now let's get into the video. <laughs> so the first thing I did was I got a three foot long PCB pipe, I don't know the name of it. And I made sure I marked the middle of the pipe. And that is because I am going to, adults will only do this part. If you are a kid, you are not doing this part. You are getting an adult to do it for you. Do, is that an agreement? I hear you say yes and nodding your head. We are saying yes and we are nodding our head. Okay, let's go. Now that we are in agreement, okay, let's go back to the video. So in that middle portion of the PCV pipe or C whatever pipe, I'm going to heat that over a stove. And as I'm heating it, I'm going to bend and curve it out away from me. And immediately once I like the bend of that, I'm going to run it under cold water so it keeps its shape. So then I'm going to get the ends of my PCV V pipe and I'm going to heat it up too. And then when I go to cool it down and shape it, I'm going to use duct tape and roll it over the PCV pipe while on a cold, wet rag. And once you're done, this is how it should look like. Okay, so now to make give it its Baroque vibes, I got a silicone mold on Amazon. I got that and I just got my hot glue and I just filled the mold with hot glue, kind of gluing it and spewing it in there very closely so that it fills up completely. After it cooled down, I just took it out of the mold and it looked well, something like this. And now we come to another adult's only portion of the video. I used an X-Acto knife to cut out all the excess intricate pieces and this is just going to make it look very detailed, like more detailed on once you glue it, once you hot glue it onto the PCB pipe. Once I had made a ton of pieces, I started to hot glue them all to the PCB pipe and this is where your artistic liberties take effect. This is where you put your spin on it. This is where your uniqueness, amazingness that I know that you are, this is why I love you guys, comes into fruition. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing you do it and I am giving you 10 stars. Amazing stars. 100 stars. A million stars. A billion stars. A trillion stars. The galaxy and the universe amount of stars. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so you're just gonna hot glue it the way you want to and just fit it onto the bow how you see fit. So also when you're hot gluing your rope pieces, make sure you leave a space for the middle portion where your rope is going to be. And once all the pieces are there and you like it, you love it, it is giving you life, it is now time to spray paint it whatever color you want. This is the decoration portion and this is where you make it you. This spray paint, I love the color. Like it is so metallic -y. It looks like 
metal. Once you're done with that, you're going to take rope. You're going to want to hot glue it and then wrap it around. Hot glue, wrap around very tightly onto the middle portion. Now we're going to put on the string part of the bow. And what I did is tied it to the end and then I hot glued that tied portion. And then on top of the tied portion, that's when I wrapped around the other metallic, nice looking rope on it to secure it really well. And you're gonna do that for either ends, both ends of your bow. And then once you're done with all of that, there you have your bow. Now it's time to get into making the arrow. I had a stick, got the sticky foam, smashed it together, and cut out my heart or my broken heart for either heartbreak or love. This is how it should look like when you're all done. And then I spray painted it all together. So I traced out four rectangular pieces and then after I was done with that, I just sandwiched them together to snip the tips. And after that, I also cut the inner portion. See that? I'm just making it a little bit neater. But yeah, I cut the inner portion of the tips. Then after that, I do the same thing to the other one. So you're gonna have four. I also spray painted it, so make sure you do that. Then I snip, snip, snip the sides of it. And then first I hot glued the middle portion. And then I hot glued the portion that's gonna go on top of each middle portion. But first I have to cut it in the middle. And then I hot glued it together and it's going to look like this. You have successfully made your Baroque bow and arrow. If you try this out, tag me in your creations because I want to see what you lovely beautifuls do. <laughs> and check out the rest of the trilogy. Remember, we're trying to figure out what is the return of the king of this Cupid's trilogy. And in order to do that, you have to go watch the corset and the wing pieces so you can have accurate and critical judgment. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest. Bye.